A pump's hydraulic performance is graphically represented by pump performance curves. The pump head versus flow curve, in particular, is a valuable tool for understanding the pump's performance characteristics. The system curve is a graphical representation of head versus flow requirements of the system. It includes static head, which is not affected by flow rate and increasing frictional head losses within the pump system at different flow rates. By overlaying the pump curve, the operating flow and head is identified at the intersection point, which is discussed in more detail in the Introduction to Basic Operating Theory Training Module. Adjusting a system, flow rate, or pressure is a consideration for most pumping systems. To respond to changing demands and conditions, control systems are added to the system or pump. This can be done in three ways, by turning the pump on and off based on demand, by adjusting the system curve or by adjusting the pump curve. The system curve can be adjusted by throttling a valve, which restricts fluid flow, creating additional friction losses or pressure drop across valves. Additionally, the system curve can also be adjusted by using a bypass, which is a conduit that reduces friction losses or pressure drop by permitting flow to pass around a portion of the system back to the supply source or another application. On the other hand, the pump curve can be controlled by varying the pump speed. Varying the rotational speed of the pump is achieved through a variable speed drive VSD, or variable frequency drive VFD, which alters the pump's performance characteristics. Note that as speed is reduced in this case and how the pump performance curve shifts downward and the operating point shifts down the system curve. The introduction to basic operating theory training module will cover the different shapes of these curves, 